Hello, I'm here at Norman B Avenue in Thornbury with Dixie. Hello. <laughs> uh, this is Dixie's place. Uh, she lives here with two other people. Um, how much do you pay in rent? Uh, over 2000 a month. Excellent. What <laughs> happened? Um, uh, the ceiling collapsed in one of the bedrooms. Uh, what, like almost two months ago and it still hasn't been fixed. Uh, SES came that same yeah. night and found that the living room ceiling was being held up by their aircon unit. So your aircon is So if that wasn't so there, yeah. so you can see it's a little bit loose there. Yeah. Is, was there is there a part of your ceiling that was great stuff? Well, let's have a squiz. So this is ah, oh, I forgot I've got to be in the video. Uh, this is the room that Ida lives in now, the living room. Uh, as you can see, the ceiling situation is not fantastic. It's currently being held up by the air conditioner. And, oh yeah, <laughs> and a lovely <laughs> structural beam. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this thing used to live here, but it no longer does. There's, oh fuck the microphone. <laughs> I need that. There's kind of cracks throughout the house and you can see that all of the ceilings are unstable. Uh, and there is some kind of significant signs of I wouldn't even call it settling because the building is old, uh, but movement, I'd say. Lovely uh, fluorescent lighting. At least these aren't too bad. Like, that's not pleasant. Oh yeah, because I don't know what I'm doing. So what happened exactly? Um, my housemate was just getting ready one night, walked out of her um, doorway and it collapsed it's, behind her. <laughs> it's, no, it's no longer with it's, us. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's fucking lucky though, because yeah. like a second- It just missed yeah, that kind of thing. One second beforehand and she would have like been KO'd. Yeah. Well, that's great. So, uh, Ida's from Sweden. I don't know if you can tell um, by the IKEA furniture, but uh, she was obviously in this room and now she's in. <laughs> and now she's in this room. Uh, so, I'm not sure if it's Ida's fault that the ceiling kind of starts falling wherever she is. Uh, but somehow I doubt it. Switchboard looks good though, so a win is a win. Yeah. yeah. That's like, yeah. quality. Yeah. And when I talked to him the other week, he's like, is it selfish if, uh, I know your house is, you know, just collapsed and everything, but it's my couch, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fell on the couch, right? Yeah. <laughs> just just like, your couch sure. is fine, Maddie. Like, Bah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, we're dying, but yeah, the couch is, yeah, the couch is fine. Yeah. So yeah, this all happened like around two months ago. Yeah, it started December. That's when the ceiling fell in. Uh -huh. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. what's the real estate agency done since then? Um, so far, just that piece of wood in the ceiling. Just that. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, wood looks good. Yeah. They also made a claim into the insurance. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So they put the insurance claim through and <laughs> they're waiting till that happens before they yeah. sort you guys yeah. out. No, that's really, mm -hmm. that's good. But they've told us it's safe to live in and that we still have to pay full rent. Nice. Okay. So they, they haven't given you a rent reduction or anything? No. 
That's great. Awesome. Thank you. And um, who's your real estate agent? Uh, Beckton Richards. Excellent. Um, I reached out to them today uh, for comment, just to ask them a couple of questions about the house, and they did not get back to me. So, oh, you got some building reports and asbestos reports. Yes. What did they say? Uh, well, they contradict the uh, property manager telling us it was safe to live in. Nice. Um, there is movement uh, and yeah, movement with pretty much all of the ceilings in the house, uh, nice. which require maintenance and repairs for the entirety of the house. Awesome, great to hear, and a bit of asbestos. And a bit uh, of asbestos, heard, but it's okay because it wasn't, you know, in the ceiling. It's outside it's asbestos. It's outside it's on the It's on the <laughs> eaves outside, so that's perfect. That's where, that's where the asbestos is supposed to be. With, um, yeah, a lot of mould and water damage to keep it intact. Awesome. That's, yeah, good to hear. Great. Uh, nice jump on, by the way. Are you looking for a new place to live, perhaps? Um, I, I, <laughs> indeed, I am. Would you believe? <laughs> yeah, I can imagine yeah. that might yeah. be the case. I, I definitely am looking for a new place to live. Yeah, all right. So we'll pop an email address here if you know anywhere that might suit. Uh, three wonderful people. Uh, email that if you know anywhere that might be suitable. Uh, and no, a landlord that isn't an asshole. That'd be really nice. Thank you for listening to this episode of Shit Rentals. Um, if you want me to come visit your place, please email me at purplepingistm at gmail.com. Big your fella. <laughs> um, thank you to everyone who's bought uh, gorgeous merch and supported me on Patreon. Um, couldn't do this without you all. So really appreciate it and thanks for watching on youtube i'll send you both and let me know if you want any edits or anything and yeah <laughs> like entirely cutting me out <laughs> yeah you're just, you're just not gonna be <laughs> sorry buddy <laughs> <laughs>